In this video, we're going to look at how to set uh, the global document formatting for MLA style using Microsoft Word 2010. We're going to look at specifically how to set the page margins, the font face and size, and how to double space all of the paragraphs in the document all at once. Uh, before we begin, let's set up some uh, navigational tools that make uh, working in Word a lot easier. Uh, to begin with, in Word 2010, at the top of the page there, you have something called the ribbon. And the ribbon is organized by tabs, and each tab opens up groups of commands. Now, if your version of Word looks something like this, that's because you have the uh, ribbon minimized. So to maximize the ribbon, just come over here and click on the down arrow, and now you see the full ribbon. Uh, the next thing I like to do uh, is set the, or make the uh, paragraph marks and spacing marks visible. Uh, on the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, uh, click on the paragraph mark there, and that makes the non-printing paragraph mark visible in your text. In Word, every time you press en the Enter key, you start a new paragraph. And every time you press the space bar, you create a new space. And these paragraph marks and spacing marks are non-printing. They do show up on the, on the screen, but they do not show up in the printed document. But I like to uh, have them visible when I'm working in Word because they help me uh, see exactly where I am in the document and exactly what kind of a section I happen to be working with in Word. So I'm going to leave them on. I suggest you do too. And also, I like to keep the uh, page ruler visible. To open up the page ruler, you go up to the upper right hand corner of the page here and you click on the View Ruler tab or icon. That opens up two rulers, a top ruler showing the width of the page and a left-hand ruler showing the uh, height of a page. Uh, this can be handy uh, to see how you've set the, the page margins. Uh, we've got a left indent tab, a first line indent tab, and a right indent tab. Okay, so let's look at uh, setting the page margins for all of these pages. So in the, in the ribbon, click on the Page Layout tab, and then come down to the Page Setup group. In the right-hand corner, you'll see this little down arrow. Click on that, and that opens up the Page Setup dialog box. On the Margins tab, you'll see the Margins group, and you'll see that uh, here is where you have the controls for the top bottom, left, and right margins. And in MLA style, all page margins are set to one full inch. So all of these settings should be one full inch. If they're not, then just use the up and down arrow keys to adjust them until they are one full inch. Leave the gutter setting to zero. Leave the uh, gutter position to left. Uh, leave the orientation. The orientation page orientation should be portrait uh, page orientation. And at the bottom of the dialog box, the Apply To menu should be set to Whole Document. So we set these margins to the entire document. Click OK. Next, let's take a look at setting the document type font face and font size. In the at the top of the ribbon, click on the Home tab which opens up the font group. Uh, now, first, before we uh, set the uh, anything with a font, we have to uh, select the entire document. There are two ways to do this. On the, font, on the Home tab, go all the way to the right-hand side of the ribbon in the Editing group and expand the Select menu click on the Select All option, and now the entire document is selected or highlighted. In fact, let me uh, zoom out here so you can see the entire document 
and you can see that the entire document is selected or highlighted. Um, the other way to select the entire document is to use the keyboard shortcut. You can you hold down the control key and press the letter A once and that also selects the entire document which tells the computer I want to do something with the selected portion. So let me come back up to the top. Okay, with the document selected, uh, we go to Home tab, Font Group, and on the Font menu, MLA style asks us to use an easy to use, easy to read standard uh, body font, such as Times New Roman or Arial. Times New Roman is more standard, so let's use that. And then MLA style also asks us to use a font size of 12 points. This is 12 points. This is 10 point. 10 point is too small. We want 12 point. OK. And the last global setting we want to look at is uh, setting the paragraph line spacing to double space. I'm going to leave the entire document selected. And on the uh, Home tab ribbon here, I'm going to uh, come down to the paragraph group. Just above the paragraph, the word paragraph, I'm going to expand the uh, line and paragraph spacing menu and select 2.0. That's double space. Okay. The other way to do this is on the home tab in the paragraph group, open up the paragraph uh, dialog box. On the indents and spacing tab, come down to uh, the spacing group and in the line spacing menu set it to double space while we're here be sure that the before and after menus are set to zero point we do not need any uh, extra space before or after any of the paragraphs be sure that this uh, checkbox here is unchecked and click OK to unselect our text we just click anywhere in the text and that is all there is to setting the global page margins font si face and size and paragraph line spacing to MLA format for your entire document in Word 2010